and James Cameron's new film Avatar, the distant planet Pandora teems with alien animals, strange new plants, and human-like beings. The director recently talked to us about how much of a role real-world science played in designing Pandora. Our creature design team, you know, the, 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 the tables would be covered by books of animal biology and, and animal anatomy and, and uh, photo books uh, with, with the textures of you know, everything from the back of a tortoise to part of the, 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 the interaction between the bill, the beak and the skin of a, of a hornbill to uh, poison dart frogs to tropical fish and nudibranchs. And so we were going back to nature the whole time and, and using nature's resourcefulness and, and imagination to fuel what we were what we were doing, which is why the creatures feel real. And in parallel with that, the animators were working out, you know, how do they move? How do their muscle systems move? How does a six-legged dog move? You know, how does a six-legged horse run? And of course, it's not really a horse. It's an alien animal that resembles a horse in its gestural broad strokes, you know, but it's a nectar-feeding, six-legged, you know, herbivore uh, that's vaguely horse-like, but happens to be about the size of a stegosaurus. You know, what I say about Jim is when he does science fiction, he has to do science fact for himself. I mean, yes, it's a fantasy world, but there has to be a foundation of reality. So we did a fair amount of research. We, we researched the plants. We had worked with a botanist from UC Riverside. You know, all the, the designers we worked with, they didn't come up with things that did not make, you know, physical sense. Um, they had a real foundation to why things, you know, worked. We've also done, and I kept referring to it uh, just conceptually as a Discovery Channel type of special where we put together a four and a half minute piece that Sigourney Weaver, has narrated. That is like, you know, Pandora, 5.1 light years from Earth. And she also narrated planet Earth. So this is like her doing, you know, planet Pandora now. A world of wonder and mystery, incredible danger and strange beauty. We have a 380 page document called Pandorapedia that was fed into by, you know, an astrophysicist, an ethnomusicologist, uh, an anthropologist, a botanist, and a bunch of other ists that, that uh, you know, created this document. It's fully, it's fully fleshed out and extremely detailed. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Rivas.